You're not the only one who has considered trying to quit smoking. Almost 7 out of 10 smokers claim they wish to quit. Electronic cigarettes, e-cigarettes, vape pens, and other non-disposable and disposable vaping devices may encourage you to use them as a bridge between traditional cigarettes and quitting smoking altogether. But is vaping, often known as using electronic cigarettes, healthier than using tobacco products? Here's exactly what happened to your body. When vaping, one of the finest things you can do for your health is to stop smoking because it damages almost all of your organs, including your heart. Smoking and passive smoking account for over one-third of heart disease mortality. E-cigarette use and other vaping devices have not yet been thoroughly studied in terms of their safety and long-term health impacts. Federal and state health authorities started looking into an outbreak of a serious lung disease linked to e-cigarettes and other vaping devices in September 2019. Whatever you smoke has side effects, regardless of the risks. Your risk of experiencing terrible health impacts rises if you start using e-cigarettes or switch from smoking cigarettes to e-cigarettes. The American Cancer Society trusted source states that quitting smoking and vaping completely is the safest course of action. It may take some time before we fully comprehend the long-term hazards of vaping due to the ongoing research into its health impacts. The consequences of vaping fluids with and without nicotine, marijuana, or a CBD oil, and other substances are still unknown. What impact does vaping have on the heart? According to preliminary research, vaping may be harmful to heart health. E-liquid aerosols contain particles, oxidizing agents, aldehydes, and nicotine, according to the authors of a 2019 survey. These aerosols probably have an impact on the heart and circulatory system when inhaled. There is strong evidence, according to National Academies Press, NAP, research from 2018, that inhaling nicotine containing e-cigarettes causes a rise in heart rate. Additionally, the authors discuss some research that suggests inhaling an e-cigarette raises blood pressure. Both might have a long-term impact on heart health. An analysis of survey data from nearly 450,000 participants conducted across the country in 2019 revealed no conclusive evidence of a link between e-cigarette usage and heart disease. They did discover, however, that smokers of both traditional cigarettes and e-cigarettes had an increased risk of developing heart disease. According to a 2019 study based on the same national survey, using e-cigarettes raises your chance of having a stroke, a heart attack, angina, and developing heart disease. Even after accounting for other lifestyle factors, daily vaping is linked to an elevated risk of heart attack, according to the authors of a 2018 study that used data from a separate national health survey. Last but not least, a 2017 study conducted by trusted source on cardiovascular effects of vaping suggests that using e-cigarettes may increase your chance of developing heart and circulatory problems, especially if you already have a history of heart disease. Overall, the researchers came to the conclusion that vaping is believed to be less dangerous to the heart than smoking cigarettes. What effects does vaping have on your lungs? Vaping may harm the lungs, according to some studies, but further research is required. Specifically, a 2015 study looked at how flavored e-juices affected mouse and human lung cells. Toxicity, oxidation, and inflammation were among the harmful impacts that the researchers noted on both types of cells. These findings, meanwhile, might not necessarily apply to actual vaping. In a 2018 study, 10 participants who had never smoked a cigarette had their lung function tested after vaping liquids with or without nicotine. The researchers came to the conclusion that vaping, whether it contains nicotine or not, interferes with healthy individuals' ability to breathe normally. The results of this study may not be generalizable due to the limited sample size. According to the same NAP report from 2018, there is some evidence that using e-cigarettes negatively affects the respiratory system, but further research is needed to determine how much vaping causes respiratory disorders. The impacts on lung health are not anticipated to manifest until 20 to 30 years. This is why it took so long for the harmful consequences of smoking to be publicly acknowledged. It could take another 30 years before the entire extent of the harmful substances in e-cigarettes is understood. What effects does vaping have on your gums and teeth? Oral health appears to be negatively impacted by vaping in several ways. For instance, a 2018 study found that exposure to the aerosol from e-cigarettes increases the risk of bacteria growing on the surfaces of teeth. The authors came to the conclusion that vaping might make cavities more likely. Another 2016 study contends that vaping is linked to gum inflammation, which is known to contribute to the emergence of periodontal disorders. 
Similarly to this, a 2014 research found that vaping could cause throat, tongue, and gum irritation. Finally, the same NAP research from 2018 came to the conclusion that there is some evidence that e-cigarettes, whether they contain nicotine or not, can harm oral tissues and cells in non-smokers. Do we need to think about any further physical effects? According to the NAP report from 2018, there is strong proof that vaping leads to DNA damage, oxidative stress, and cell malfunction. Although there is currently no evidence to support the claim that vaping causes cancer, some of these cellular alterations have been associated with the long-term development of cancer. Vaping may also specifically harm some demographics, especially young people. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC trusted source, nicotine vaping can have a long-term negative impact on a person's ability to grow their brain. It's probable that not all of the bodily impacts of vaping are currently known. Do vaping and smoking cigarettes differ from one another? Smoking has numerous long-term negative effects, including a higher chance of lung cancer, heart disease, and stroke. Nearly one in five deaths in the U.S. are attributed to cigarette smoking, according to the CDC-trusted source. Vaping can seem like a less dangerous option for those attempting to give up smoking. Even if the vape liquid is nicotine-free, there are still risks associated with using it. Since we're aware that the long-term impacts of vaping will take decades to manifest, there is little information to date about these effects. But similar harmful health outcomes such as COPD, heart disease, and cancer can be anticipated given the experience with cigarettes. According to several studies, secondhand exposure to e-cigarette vapor is less harmful than secondhand exposure to cigarette smoke. Secondhand vapor is still an air pollution source, and it probably has health hazards. The 2018 NAP report states that secondhand vapor has amounts of nicotine, particulate matter, and volatile organic compounds that are over safe limits. To fully comprehend the long-term health impacts of secondhand e-cigarette vapor exposure, more study is required. Is vaping and juuling different from one another? Juuling is the term for using a certain e-cigarette brand to vape. The same health hazards apply to vaping. A USB port can be used to recharge a Juul, which is a small rectangular electronic cigarette. The e-liquid is contained in a Juul pod or J-pod cartridge and frequently has nicotine. Is it important whether the liquid includes nicotine? Whether it contains nicotine or not, vaping is unsafe. However, vaporizing nicotine containing items raises the danger of addiction even more. One of the main dangers of vaping with nicotine is developing a reliance on it. According to a 2015 study, those who vape with nicotine are more likely to become addicted to it than those who vape without it. For young individuals, vaping with nicotine is particularly dangerous. Future cigarette smoking is more likely to occur among young people who vape nicotine. Even without nicotine, e-cigarettes still present health hazards. A number of potentially harmful substances, including base liquids and flavoring ingredients, are present in nicotine-free e-juice. According to studies, vaping without nicotine can injure blood vessels, cause cell death, irritate the respiratory system, and trigger inflammation. To fully comprehend the negative impacts of nicotine-free vaping, more study is required. Instead of experimenting with e-cigarettes to help you stop smoking, get advice from a professional. Additionally, if you've already started vaping, consult your doctor to establish a smoking cessation strategy that suits your needs. In order to prevent severe adverse cardiovascular events such as heart attacks, serious lung issues, depression, and anxiety, and not only our adult patients, but also in our young people, quitting all types of cigarette smoking is of the utmost significance. Smoking has been strongly associated with both cancer and cardiovascular disease. However, the sooner you stop, the faster your body can recover and heal. What smoking cessation program or tools might be effective for you? Discuss this with your doctor. Thank you for watching the video. Stay tuned for our channel to stay updated. See y'all in the following video.